Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty, pretty awesome and some of like the most fantastic news we have a chance to see when it comes to scalpers and basically the end of like a big era when it comes to scalping. And I'll basically, if you guys don't know, a lot of retailers had a lot of really big issues when it comes to botters, scalpers, in store scalpers, people buying out as much stock as they can. And it was basically plaguing the whole gaming universe for quite some time. But right now, we actually have a huge, huge change up over here that now we are seeing retailers fund only taking like that breath that sigh of relief that they're actually now changing their restocks themselves to make them pretty much readily available for most normal folks. So we're going to talk about this fantastic and lovely news, and it does kind of seem, as of this point, because I keep on telling all you guys, we're probably going to be pretty much done with the restock tracking very, very soon, and as well, we're going to focus more on proper, better, good videos. I've been saying this for a little years. I just have not had a day off to go and talk about it and do it. We'll have a proper update video, and I hope you guys will watch that, and also hopefully enjoy future content too as well, because there's some cool stuff we've been working on. Not to know to my own horn, but, like, there's some cool stuff. Like, I can't wait to make probably one good proper video and give you guys something you guys actually really like and look on forward to. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, rambles aside fantastic news. So we're going to talk about it. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on Twitter and Twitch room down below. All the usual sell links with the Amazon target links to and all that. And let's go and dive into this video. So if you guys do or don't know, as I said, some places like even Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, etc. had issues. They had like anti-botting measures. There was things in stores where there were signs where people could only buy one console at a time. We were seeing people basically going and jumping around like 80 different GameStop stores at times just for a chance to get a console to either resell it or just hold on to it or buy out the stock the best they can. And of course, it's also happened in other countries too as well. A lot of countries in India, Japan, China, the UK, wherever it may be, were basically plagued by these scalpers. Some countries are still having issues with this though. Like America is getting a little bit more normalized, although we've had a lot more larger bonus stock that's been allocated and given towards us in here in America. But other countries have had even worse issues. So one big thing to go know is now Japan has pretty much made a monumental, massive, massive announcement over here. So if you guys have seen it throughout these past few years like here's an article from november 2021 if you guys remember about a year ago uh this was kind of wild where basically japanese retailers had to take action against ps5 scalpers by basically marketing uh marking all the packaging so basically at the time they had their playstation 5 consoles they had to go and basically mark their name so basically one retailer previously said it would write customers names on sold ps5 consoles so basically be like hey like you're john smith so then you'd have to go and basically order an order online or wait in a line or whatever show your eye ID, like your proper ID, and then they you put a huge like John Smith when it comes on the console. So basically, if you're trying to go and resell it or do anything online, they just have your huge name plastered on it. So people are basically like, well, John Smith is a scalper. Wow, what a bad, unhumble person. What's going on over here? So basically, these Japanese retailers, and this also happened, like I said, in America. We're having issues everywhere. They had to get creative. They had to do different things. They had to destroy packages. I think there was a certain time where they were basically getting rid of the plastic box and just giving you the console itself and then the controller, like the cables and the controller, like in a separate box. So, like, you could essentially not even be able to resell it because it just looked like absolute garbage. And, like, what if you lost something or people wouldn't know if it was used or not and everything in between. So, basically, this uh, chain Nojima over here basically had to go and implement this policy and then people were having issues with it, too, as well. And, well, yeah, you basically had to go write your full name on the box. They're going to open dispose of the DualSense shot controller box as well. And basically they had their best to make sure it was like good because like police were getting called. There were swarms of scalpers. Scalping was, I think, probably one of the worst in Japan, funny enough. But one of the better news over here is that this same Nojima that was just mentioned over here, like we're literally seeing these articles. We've also seen other articles too as well, where they're basically asking them to go and ax, like basically break these box seals to deter these scalpers. So, like, they, they, gotta, they had to be a little bit nifty on this stuff. They had to go and change some stuff. They had to make sure these scalpers were basically not buying out all the stuff they can. And this is why this is cool. Like, we'll talk about the drama over here in a second. But for this, we had an official announcement from Nojima Online, which is the same original like, place over here that we referenced. Like, you know, basically, like a, imagine like a Walmart or a Target, where they are now getting rid of their raffles, which is kind of a really good thing over here to just go 
and sell the consoles normally. So as we kind of mentioned on here before, they used to have their consoles where they would either write their huge names on it, or they'd have these big things where they had, uh, like they basically would have the console, or the console box, they'd have the knife, they'd cut the plastic, they'd break the box, or maybe they'd even get like a, you know, just whatever, like kind of saw off the very, very top of it, and then be like, kind of how I said, maybe give you the full console, maybe just give you like the controller and the console itself out of the box, because at the end of the day, you're still getting your product, just not the fancy box, so it's harder to go and sell, and all this, but now with this, they also then segue that into potentially doing raffles. So in Japan and China, especially, especially, especially in Japan, what they would do is they'd have like a, like basically like a PlayStation direct, if you guys remember that, where sometimes you'd be randomly selected and automatically selected. And then they just do that for an in-person raffle where some places were having like your credit card information placed in. Uh, so imagine like, you know, those like work things, we have like a credit card, you kind of, or like, maybe like, say like you're going in, uh, doing credit card roulette when it comes to say dinner and you basically just RNG. So like you get lucky, you get selected, they'll go charge your credit card and they'll send you out an email. Uh, but people were like leaving their names, business cards, credit cards, or like a random online survey, a survey. I think some places were like, if you signed up for a credit card, you'd have a chance to enter on in with these promotions. You guys can go from there. Like we saw a lot of very intriguing ways, but this is basically what this company did. So now they realize that stocks being becoming more normalized. There's less botters and scalpers out here basically buying all the stock with these like crazy swarms of folks over here. And with that, they are now finally getting rid of this random, strange outside source of lottery systems. And they're just going to be able to go and sell the consoles physically on the shelves or online. They basically just sell like you see over here. So from February 1st, as of like today, PlayStation 5 regular sales start from Nojima Online. They've said it again. Finally, from February 1st, 2023, the PS5 body will be normally sold. I think it's translated, don't mind the weird website. Along with that, the long-term lottery sales of the PS5 itself will also be completed long. It's basically saying like it's been a long time. Experience the latest gaming console with road time blasting. You guys can also see over here for your request. I guess you can see this one that requests itself over here. And also, they do have a few other various bundles, too, as you guys can see. It does seem like they have the Gran Turismo, which is really popular in Japan, strangely and weirdly enough. And then same with Horizon, which is probably just, you know, them trying to go and sell more Horizon sales. Same with the omitted optical drive over here with the digital edition. And same with the other digital boxes, which I'm a little bit jealous. I don't think in America we ever had a chance to get this Gran Turismo 7 box, but just the design of that actually looks pretty, pretty cool. They're also trying to go and sell the PlayStation VRs too as well. So it's interesting, like we are now seeing proper comments. We are seeing these official stores now clearing out their inventory. Here's the official tweet announcement too as well, saying the PS5 main unit regular sales announcement from February 1st onward, Nojima Online will end lottery sales to PS5 consoles and switch to regular sales. I'm playing PS5 winning at Nojima Online. For those who say PS5, I'd appreciate if you could retweet. Now, once again, this is all translated to you, so it's not the one-to-one, -one, but I think this is great. Like, we're kind of seeing, even in other countries now, the console shortage finally ending. So the fact that these retailers can finally go become normal. Now, we've kind of noticed this, too, where Amazon's almost there. Right now, they are still doing their Amazon, like, kind of request invitation system, which is weird. And we're still seeing the other retailers, such as, like, say, a Target or, like, you know, maybe a Best Buy. Still being a little bit sporadic, where it's not, like, always in stock. Like, Amazon doesn't have a 24-7 online listing where you can just go buy it whenever you want to. Uh, but I do think the request invitations have been being churned out quite a bit. And we'll probably even see Amazon probably turn to normal restocks. Maybe in the next few weeks, as we've been seeing that Walmart has been kind of doing pretty okay online, besides the digital selling out. But th this is cool. Like, this is basically, like, once again, another big step towards the normalcy of this PlayStation 5 and Xbox stock. It's been plaguing everyone for so long, and, like, these weird raffle systems, or weird having to write your name on a console, or literally having to go break your console open just to give them the product you got... Or plus, same with, like, say, in America, where we had, like, a one console limit. Or basically, you had to go and even know someone for a while just to get a console in a store itself. And all these weird policies. And even Sony was like, don't sell this stuff in stores. We don't want crowds. We don't want COVID messing with people, whatever it might be. And the fact that we're seeing this kind of getting lifted and kind of becoming normalized again... I think it's fantastic. Like, I love this. I think this is really, really cool because it's becoming normal. Like, we shouldn't have to have a raffle system to get a console. We shouldn't have to go and stay up until 4 in the morning to get a console. And even though the PS5 restacks were a great time in my life, I love doing this. I still haven't technically ended it for, like, my cycle as of yet. But, bro, like, I don't think the world should be like this where you have to have a bot running 24-7 just to get a console or I have to go and run, like, a raffle and play the lottery with all my buds just to have a chance to get a console. So, 
So I got to give a big major clap towards Japan. I got to go make sure Japan is chilling. I'm proud of the retailers for finally making this step and removing this, and it's cool to see. So give me your thoughts and comments down below, and hopefully this means that we're almost done. I think we pretty much are. We haven't seen even the digitals in stock for quite a bit, so it does seem like we're almost at the tail end of this PS5 restock grind, but this is cool to see. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We have the Target links down below, Amazon links down below, and make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We'll have a bunch more videos all throughout the rest of today.